Hi everyone, in this video uh, I'll show you that how we can install Windows Server 2022 in VirtualBox. I have another video where I have shown you that how to install this in VMware. Actually there is a minor difference between that but I'll show you because um, there was some demand in the class that we should be doing this in VirtualBox as well. So for that I have already VirtualBox here. So you need to install recent version of VirtualBox. I'll put a link in the description section that from where you can download the VirtualBox. And the second step would be to download the ISO file for Windows Server 2022. And for that, you need to go to google.com and write Windows Server 2022 evaluation. So you can see this is the same keywords which you have to use here. And then you can uh, see here Windows Server 2022 evaluation center and uh, then you will see this page here and say get, get started for free and then we have here download the ISO file so I'm going to download this ISO file so I'll be showing how to install it with the help of ISO file and you click there and uh, then maybe you need to give your details here so after giving all my all of my details you can see here uh, maybe I, I'm not going to select these options simply I click download now and so I just have to click on 64-bit addition and now you can see it has already started downloading okay so after a wait of maybe five minutes depending on the speed of my internet so this ISO file has been downloaded on my computer and now I'm going to launch this uh, Oracle VM virtual box and now we are going to create a new virtual machine and, and on this one and on this uh, in this menu bar you can see we have uh, a new so in addition to that if you go to help and if you click on about virtual box so that is actually 7.0 virtual box there may be some differences between the older version of virtual box so this is 7.0 so we are going to create new virtual machine and to install windows server 2022 so first we just when we click on new a new window appears it says create a virtual machine and we need to give a name for this virtual machine so we are going to give it a name window server 2022 and then this is a folder where our virtual machine will be saved so in my case actually i prefer to uh, store uh, maybe use the folders on d drive instead of a c drive and then here we have to give path to our iso file so i'm going to click here and then click others and here in the downloads folder you can see if uh, by default it doesn't come as a download folder you just have to go to the location where you have the iso file in my case this is in downloads folder so select downloads and this is the iso file click open now we have given path to our iso file so it may be skip unattended so because you have selected the skip under the guest operating system install the guest operating system will need to be installed manually so we will be installing manually and then very first thing is you can modify virtual machines hardware by changing amount of RAM and virtual CPU so you can see we can make changes in the processor or maybe base memory so as per our requirement we can maybe make some changes but I'm not making any changes so and click next and then create a virtual hard disk now so now virtual hard disk will be created for this virtual machine and by default you can see you can maybe change the size here but I'm happy with the by default size which we have here and this is a summary which uh, which have been allocated for this virtual machine for Windows Server 2022 on our computer so you can see this is a name and this is a folder where we have we will have the relevant files base memory processor and then maybe this size and you can see we click finish and uh, after that maybe if we click on this machine you can windows server 2022 if you click on setting and if you want to verify maybe storage you can see we already have this file iso file path has already been given to this machine and then you can also look at maybe the network you can have maybe different adapter for in my case i have already selected nat network address translation option so it will be automatically selecting IP address for it and I have selected adapter 1 and then you can click on a storage details USB details and maybe shared folder details but at the moment uh, we are not interested in that so I'm going to cancel it so now we just have to select start and after clicking start it should start the process of installing 
Window Server 2022 in our virtual box. So on the right hand side, it can you can see it shows that powering VM up. So it may take some time, and now you can see this very first window appears here, and uh, it shows that loading files for Windows Server 2022, and it may be for better visibility. I can maybe maximize here, and then maybe I close it, and then this is the English. And you can see like maybe you can change the language, but I'm I'm using this one. Install now. Setup is starting. So now this is the actual process of installing Windows Server 2022. Only thing was that in my case I use this virtual box. And here instead of standard evaluation, we are going to select the standard evaluation desktop experience. And what they mean, you can when you select on these all different options, you can and maybe go in the description section it will give you further details so this option install the full windows graphical environment consuming s card disk and drive space it can be useful if you want to use a windows desktop or have an app that requires it and then next step click next we have to accept this if you want to install it and then instead of upgrade we are going to select this custom one and this is the disk which has been selected so it's 50 gb so we can extend we can format there are multiple options but at the moment we are not interested in going uh, in, in further details about that we select next and now you can see it shows the rest of the steps where it is showing installing microsoft server operating system so it, if you, you can see this five percent it may take some time and if this video gets longer maybe then I'll, I'll just be fast forwarding it yes now you can see it is showing us the rest of the steps installing features installing updates and then finishing up and it will start in few seconds and uh, yes I have shown this in VMware as well in my some other video so this is only for I mean virtual box because uh, you know some of the students use virtual box okay so now the very first window is asking us to use a password so this is uh, asking us to use a password for built-in administrator account so there you can see there will always be an account uh, with administrator as a username and now we have to select a password here so maybe password we have to select any password you can select and maybe I make this easier for in this case so that I remember it then we simply maybe if I click on view and full screen mode so that I can see the these three things finish and now this has been installed and uh, then simply we have here the options we can see we can click on input keyboard and insert alter control delete and now it gives us the window where we can give the password which we just used yes this works so now with the administrator password I'm going to log in into my Windows Server 2022 for the oh, very first time and uh, now see what other options we can have but this was very simple uh, to install Windows Server 2022 in, in, in VirtualBox. And uh, do you want to allow the PC to discoverable? Maybe we, at the moment, maybe we are not interested. It says no. And this is Server Manager. We will be maybe making many changes in the Server Manager because we have installed Server. So we have been provided with some admin tool by which we can manage our servers. 
and uh, here you can see maybe if I close this you can see we have different options we can add roles features add other server to manage create server group connect this server to cloud service and now there, these are some roles and server groups which we already have but in addition to that if you want to add maybe maybe more roles in it so these are some things which we need to explore in this Windows Server but uh, at the moment these are something you can see we have installed our our very first uh, like Windows Server 2022 and then we then you click on local uh, server you can have here the computer name then the name of the work group and then IP address the last step is to try to maximize this screen so for that we are going to insert a guest edition CD image that will be installed in the required uh, tools so for this just click insert guest edition and uh, then you click on this folder click on the CD ROM and then click on this Windows edition AMD 64 double click there next next and then install this it may take few moments but after that you can see the whole full screen so that is virtual box guest edition 7.0 and you can see after some blink it will say reboot now yes we are going to reboot our system so that we can see this uh, windows server 2022 on our full screen and for that we also need to remember our password which we configured for administrator and i hope i remember that password and now it shows that we have to again use as input keyboard and then insert control alt alt delete and administrator password and press enter and now you can see um, it will be yes so this is our uh, Windows Server 2022 that is getting ready and maybe if we go here and if you click on view and if you click on full screen mode and now you can see this Windows Server 2022 is showing on full screen and uh, actually not showing maybe I need to check it switch it yes sorry so now you can see this is full screen of Windows Server 2022 which is, which is shown here and this is the server manager which you can use to add different roles and features maybe we'll see this uh, in other videos okay so that's it thank you very much